Diálogo. Bonjour. Serge. Yeah. Hello, boys and girls. Lots of different ways to say hello in this great big world of ours. Welcome to our world. This is our final lesson. This is the final video that I'm going to be making for us. And I just wanted to say before we get started on this last lesson how proud I am of the work that you've been doing, how hard you've been working in a very difficult circumstance, and the responses that you've been giving to me over these past couple of months as we've done music lessons has really been something special. I've learned a lot about you. I hope you've learned a lot about music and have learned to appreciate it even more uh, as you've been learning about music remotely in your studies. This last week is part two of our lesson we started the previous week, which is called Welcome to Our World, Europe. In last week's lesson, we were introduced to four of these European countries, Ireland, France, Poland, and Greece. And also last week, I talked about the importance of learning about other countries and cultures and people because it allows us to understand them more and to respect them a little bit more. I want to talk a little bit about making connections. Now, I know that a couple weeks back, as I've introduced you to learning about music of the world, I told you to ask your family and ask your friends and ask to see if there's a connection that you can make some way to a country or a culture or a people group from somewhere around the world. And as I asked you to do that, I hope that the answers that you've been getting and the the questions and the talking that you've been doing to family members and things have really kind of brought an understanding of more of who you are and maybe a connection that you have somewhere in the, in the world that you didn't know about. But I want to also talk to you about another thing that happens a lot when people try to make these kind of connections. Sometimes when people try to make connections to another country or a culture, it's not that easy. Sometimes it's difficult and perhaps even a little complicated. Let me tell you what I mean. My family connection is to the nation of Poland, which is one of the four countries that I am introducing to you to in this study about music from Europe. My grandparents came over to America from Poland many years ago, over a hundred years ago. This isn't a picture particularly of them, but these were probably what they looked like when they came. And as they came here from this nation of Poland to a new nation which was called the United States of America, there were probably a couple of reasons for doing that. Maybe it was to escape a coming conflict or war that was been happening in Europe. Maybe it was for an opportunity to make more money or to make a safer life in a different country on the other side of the planet. I don't really know the reason why my grandparents came from Poland all the way across the ocean to the United States of America. But what I do know is that as my grandparents came and as my father particularly was born and raised here in Illinois, in Chicago as a matter of fact, the connection to the country of Poland wasn't something that was very strong or wasn't something that was really something that he did as a kid. My dad did not speak a whole lot of Polish when he went to school. He went to school in an American school and so English was the language he learned to use. And when my father grew up and became a dad and I was born and my brothers were, were born, Polish wasn't something that we ever heard spoke in our family. We did not dress up in clothes that were Polish. We did not listen to a lot of Polish music. We did not eat Polish food for dinner, unless my grandma was coming to visit, and that was only on a rare occasion. Uh, but for the most part, the connection I have to Poland is just something that is in distant memory and photographs. It's not something that happens in my life. I don't really have a strong connection to the country of Poland, other than to say I have ancestors that came from that spot. If you have a similar experience as you've been talking and learning about maybe a connection you have, and it's not a really strong one, if your family members have a lot of questions that they don't know the answers to, I want to tell you it's okay. It's not a bad thing. And it happens a lot more than you may think. 
being a part of this new nation called the United States of America was an opportunity for some people from other countries to come here and to get away from certain things. And for whatever reason, if they chose not to continue in those traditions and those ways and customs of the old country, that's okay. America is a country that has great freedoms for its people. We allow people of all kinds, of all colors, of all creeds, from all nations, to come on over to this country and to live their life how they seem to choose how to live it the best. And what they do and how closely connected or not connected they are to their homeland or from the, the country they came from is up to them and it's their choice. And it's okay. Now let's take a look at our assignment on Seesaw. Here we are in Seesaw for our final remote music lesson. Welcome to our world, Lesson 10, Europe, Part 2. As usual, we put the Add Response button and we are reminded of the four countries that we are learning about this week. Ireland, France, Poland, and Greece. And just like we talked about last week, as you chose one, or some of you maybe two of those countries, to listen to music from those countries. I hope that you had a chance to listen to a national anthem, a traditional song or dance, folk instrument, and an example of popular music. Today, I would like you to finish up and try to listen to all four of those countries' music. I would like you to try to listen to the four examples from each of those four countries and finish up learning about the music of Europe. And when you get to this last page, page number six, again, we have the four countries listed here, and underneath them are these three faces. I would like for you to put a check mark in a box under each one of these countries to let me know what you thought about the music of this country. Was it something that you really enjoyed and really look forward to listening to again and again? Was it something that was okay? Or was it something that, no thank you, I wouldn't want to hear that or listen to that ever again? So to be clear, one final time, your assignment for this last week of remote music learning is to listen to the music of the four countries, listen to national anthems, traditional songs or dances, folk instruments, and popular music. And then on the final page, page six, let me know what you thought about the music from those particular countries we listened to representing the, the continent of Europe. Again, this is Boys and Girls. has been a wonderful experience, a learning experience for me, certainly, putting these lessons together for you remotely. And I hope that you've learned something. I hope that you've made connections through music. I hope that you've discovered that even though there are differences and things that separate us, really we have more things that connect us together than we do that divide us in this world. And music is a great way of sharing that truth with us and learning about it. I hope that learning about music has become something that's more memorable and more meaningful to you. I hope you appreciate music a little bit more than you did when we first started. I know that for some of you, this is the last time I will ever see you again, particularly the fifth graders who are listening and watching right now. I say to my fifth graders, goodbye, um, good luck. I wish you the very, very best. I hope that music is a part of your life in some way moving on, whether it's part of band or orchestra or choir that you might join starting next year, or music is just something that plays in the background as you do homework, or it's just something that you enjoy listening to with friends or dancing to and, and sharing that uh, with friends and family. To my kindergarten, first, second, third, and fourth graders, I say, I hope that you have a wonderful summer. I hope that you've learned a lot about music. Maybe, perhaps, I will see you in person as we return back to school in the fall. Maybe you'll be students here at Constance Lane Elementary, which is where I, I intend to be next year. Uh, and if you are not, if you are a student who will go to a different school and maybe you won't even see me ever again, I hope that our paths do connect somehow. Um, maybe you'll see me in a store or maybe you'll see me in a music festival or something. Uh, just come up and say hi and let me know uh, the, who you are and, and just to make again that connection of uh, letting me know that you are a student of mine and that you appreciated music in some way, I hope. Um, and that would be the case for many of you as well. But boys and girls, for the last and the final time, 
I will say to you now. Slang of all. Au revoir. Dovizienia. Sadiosa. And goodbye for this year.